Have you ever wondered what makes powder coating so tough and versatile? Well, today we're talking about thermoplastic powder coating. It's a real game changer in the coating industry. Unlike traditional coatings, thermoplastics can actually be reheated, reshaped, and even repaired in some cases, making them one of the most flexible and durable coating solutions available on the market. From outdoor metal protection to food safe applications, thermoplastics are used everywhere. We're gonna cover what they are, why they're awesome, the best types, how they're applied, and let's just get into it. What is thermoplastic powder coating? It's a type of powder coating that melts and flows when heated, forming a tough protective layer on the metal surface. The key difference from thermoset coatings, thermoplastic coatings don't chemically cure, meaning they can be reheated, reshaped, and repaired multiple times. Key characteristics of thermoplastic powder coating. One, it's highly durable and impact resistant. It's perfect for parts that need that extra toughness. Two, it's chemical and corrosion resistant. It protects against moisture, UV exposure, and chemicals. Three, it's a thicker coating. Usually applied thicker than thermoset coatings, it provides better protection. Four, it's remeltable and repairable. It can be reworked with heat, unlike thermoset coatings. And lastly, it's flexible. Great for services that expand or contract and need some sort of elasticity. Best use for thermoplastic powder coating? Now that we know what it is, is, where is it used? Well, basically everywhere. Automotive and transportation. It's used for underbody coatings, racks, guardrails, anywhere really that impact resistance matters. Industrial and heavy machinery, ideal for machinery and equipment exposed to chemicals and wear. Outdoor and marine applications. It's perfect for fences, railings, light poles, and marine hardware, thanks to its corrosion resistance. Medical and food equipment non-toxic and bacteria resistant. It makes it a great product for food processing tools as well as medical instruments. Appliance and wire goods. It's used in shopping carts, dishwasher racks, and storage units types of thermoplastic powders and their uses. Not all thermoplastics are the same. Let's break down the most popular ones and where they work best. Polythylene, PE. It's affordable and highly resistant to corrosion. Its best uses are outdoor fencing, playground equipment, dishwasher racks, automotive underbody coatings. There are some limitations though. It's not ideal for high heat applications. Polypropylene, PP. Smooth finish with excellent chemical resistance. Best used in food processing equipment, medical trays, and electrical insulation. It does have limits though. Less impact resistant than the polyethylene. Nylon, extremely durable and impact resistant. It's best for gears, rollers, machine parts, automotive handles, conveyor systems. Its limitations are it's more expensive and it requires higher application temperatures. Polyvinyl chloride, PVC, soft, flexible, and corrosion resistant. It's best for handrails, tool handles, marine coatings, automotive underbody protections, and its limitations include environmental concerns with the PVC production. Polyester, also known as thermoplastic. UV resistant and decorative. It's best for architectural coatings, outdoor furniture, bicycle frames, sports equipment. Its limitations include that it's a little less flexible than PE or nylon application methods. How do we apply thermoplastic powder coatings? There are three main methods depending on the part size and the durability needed. The number one application method is fluidizing bed dipping. This is best if you really need a thick, even coat. The process includes a preheated metal part to 300 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit that is then dipped into a bed of air fluidized thermoplastic powder. The powder melts and adheres to the part, forming a nice uniform layer. This works really well well to build up the layers fast. It's best for pipes, racks, handrails, outdoor furniture, and a lot of heavy duty parts. It's not ideal though for fine details or thin coating. The second application process is electrostatic spraying, which is what we do. Best for controlled thin coatings. The powder is electrostatically charged out of the spray gun and then onto the grounded part. You normally preheat the parts to about 350 to 450 degrees, and then you spray the part hot, building up your mills. For the powder we use from IFS, we wanted to hit eight to 12 mils on these wire racks that go into a refrigerator. It is best used for bicycle frames, automotive parts, appliance parts, but it does require heating or post heating to ensure the adhesion. Now you're not going full of full cure on these, you just want the parts to gel out. 
Flame spraying is also an option. It's best for on-site and mobile repairs. The process includes feeding the powder into a flame or plasma spray gun. The heat melts the powder as it's applied to the surface. The coating then solidifies instantly as it cools. It's best for bridges, pipes, railings, large structures, and for on-site repairs. It does require specialized equipment though and training. Choosing the right coating for your needs. So which thermoplastic powder coating is right? Here's a quick cheat sheet. For outdoor durability, polyester or polyvinyl. For impact resistant, nylon. For chemical resistance, polypropylene or PVC. For cost effective general use, polyvinyl. Still not sure? Drop a comment down below and we'll help you pick the best thermoplastic for your application. And that's basically all you need to know about thermoplastic powder coating. From automotive protection to food safe applications, this technology is a game changer. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. It'll let you know anytime we post a new content. If you have questions, make sure to fill them out down below, and we'd love to hear from you and get back to you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, get out there and coat something.